Hi, Ken. Oh, yeah, you good looking. How you doing? Come on, Ken. <laughs> Ken, All right. nice teeth, the smile. What's up? What's up, Ken? How's everything? Good. We are chilling. We are hanging out. You know, just trying to find my husband. That's all. Nothing, you know, too much. Okay. Yo, Melly, you're doing a good job. This is very entertaining, by the way. Is it? Okay, good. It's, it's hilarious. Ken, I'm sorry. When she says she's trying to find her husband, you made a face. You don't want to get married? I mean, I would like to get married. What? But what's the hesitation? Like, um... Oh, no, there's no hesitation. I mean, I'm just joking with you. But um, when I make that face, but not, nothing too serious. Okay. So where is your girlfriend? I don't know. <laughs> She's out? <laughs> I don't have one. Oh, okay. How come? Um, well, you know, life is busy. But I think at this time, it's, in, uh, it's been a, a constant grind and build. So I'm sure when that time happens, it will, it will happen naturally. Okay. Uh, where are you located? Like what city? So you I'm from on uh, the Midwest. Currently live in Kansas City, Missouri. Okay. Very cool. What do you do in Kansas? I am a doctor here in Kansas City. What kind of doctor? Orthopedic surgeon. I'm a resident. Yo, you okay? I feel like that little world is small, isn't it? A little what? Like little. I'm sorry. Let me never downplay y'all because y'all are the real MVPs. But like that orthopedic surgeon world I feel like it's like a tight-knit community no like everybody knows each other I like, mean to a certain degree I mean if you the orthopedic world is pretty big but as far as like underrepresented minorities within orthopedics is very small okay. like less than two percent are black so um it's a very close-knit community within that larger community but you know we all got our work to do work okay. cut out before us and how old are you Ken and do you have any kids no kids I'm 31 Okay. Okay. How tall are you? Six four. Woo! Ken. Okay. <laughs> how, how tall are you? I'm short. I'm a shorty. I'm five five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Uh no, what is your passion? Let me let me make a better question. What is your passion? I was gonna say, did you hear I, I say what I did this whole no, I'm kidding. Um God, my passion honestly is helping people and teaching them about herbalism and plants and how we can heal our body with other ways, pharma. So I'm not going against, you know, what doctors do, but I truly believe there is a different way to healing the body. Um, I just, and I want to teach people about it. So that is like what I'm passionate about. I love sit. I go to, when I started my company, I used to go to whole and just take notes. Like studying herbs, studying like that's how I got into Chinese medicine and herbalism. So. I'm not. A, I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> Wait, why? Why would we? Think Somebody said I was a serial killer. I'm definitely not a serial killer. But, oh, oh, um, I don't. He's too, he's too perfect. He has to have something wrong with. Where him. are we in the serial killer thing? No, somebody made a comment. I'm in the serial. It was killer. on the screen. It was a comment. Oh my god! Well, my I next, my next question to you is: uh, What made you get into health and wellness? Um. Man, it was a long journey. Long story short, I used to compete bodybuilding. And then when I stopped competing, I went into like this body dysmorphia to where like anytime I would eat anything, like I thought I was fat after because it was like a, a crazy, you know, you go from eating like no salt, asparagus, tilapia, like these little meals. And I couldn't figure out how to what I needed to do to stay in shape. So that, that led me into studying nutrition. And then from nutrition, I got heavily into um, Chinese medicine and herbs and, you know, just finding out different ways to heal your body once I became vegan and kind of doing that on my own, so. Gotcha. So what's your, how do you see yourself building from this health and wellness, nutrition, holistic medicine? Like what's, what's the, what's the five year plan with this? Yeah. Come on, questions. Um, you know, I ask myself that too. I'm like, what is my, someone asked me like, are you happy in your career? And I'm like, I am doing what I love and I'm excelling, but I, there's always a next point. Oh I, my God. What yeah, happened? I, I don't know what's going on. I'm not doing this or oh, man, I that's thought that's you. something going on, but keep talking. Go ahead. Yeah. I want to get bare root remedy into like all major retailers and, 
you know, help specialty stores and grow my brand and um, like eventually have stores. I would love that. And I also want to open a juice bar, um, my own juice bar and my recipes and stuff kind of that I've created um, over the years. So that is like my what I want to do as I travel the world. So. Okay. Yeah. What is your five year plan? Well, um, my five year plan. So I'm a resident. So I have about three more, three and a half more years in residency. So okay. big goal is to go back home to Chicago. That's like the. You said Chicago? Chicago? Oh, yeah, Midwest. From Chicago. That's where you're from. What'd you say? Midwest. That's where you're yeah. from. Chicago. Yeah, I'm from okay. Midwest. Yeah, but I'm from Chicago. So I'm um, planning is to, you know, finish residency, um, go back home and practice medicine in Chicago. And, um, okay trying to incorporate more of that holistic medicine and surgical field, which I'm really interested in. That's why I went to ortho, because I think ortho, out of all the surgical fields, like everyone, that, like if you're not moving, you're dying, right? And so yes, yes. being involved within a, a surgical field where I could physically manipulate someone's like body to make them function better is something that's pretty cool to me. So um, that's kind of like my end all be all, but I don't see myself in the operating room like for my whole life. I see myself being involved in tech community service, stuff like that. So um, nice. art, yeah, so pretty cool. That's very cool. And I love the community service part. I'm big on that. I used to do a lot of community service with like um, young teens, young girls specifically, and kind of like mentoring them. But then everything happened with COVID and you, it's just not the same. Like you have to go through, they make you go through so much to do it now to where it's like, it's just, it's a lot, so. Yeah. Question. So what's what's been your what's been the biggest challenge that you have to overcome recently? In what? Just in, in anything in general. Um, probably stuff. I'm 31. Probably two to three years, potentially. Hmm. OK. Yeah. What about yourself? On God's time, but if that, I'm just saying, if that were to happen tomorrow, cool. I'm ready and I'm excited. Okay. We, I, we guys, I think there is a problem. I uh, think uh, that nobody sees us. I think it's just us. I just got an email from my moderator and he's telling me it's uh, frozen. Oh, uh, no. so what do we do? Uh, I don't know. They're talking about I'm getting hacked. I don't know. Okay, so... Just in case we, I mean, we're going to try to come back, but, uh, oh no, they say we can see us now. Oh, they can. Okay. 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 Oh, we... It's back. It's back. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, keep talking. I apologize. <laughs> um, what? Yeah. What, wait, what were we just talking about? We were talking about kids. Oh yeah. If it were to happen tomorrow, I'd be over the moon excited. Gotcha. 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 So question, how is it, uh, Living in LA, I was just in LA about a few weeks ago. I loved it for the first time. For the first and, time, yes. what did you golf in Calabasas? You um, came, with somebody, or what were you doing? Oh no, I came to visit. I had a vacation. Just literally mm -hmm. bought a ticket and just came to visit LA by yourself. Yes. Okay, where'd you stay? I stayed in West Hollywood. Okay. Um, how is it living here? It's beautiful and flawed at the same time. I'm gonna say that. Mm. It's tough because I feel like for where I'm at in my life and the things that I'm looking for and the things that I want, LA is not conducive for that um, because you could be, and again, there's nothing wrong with being 50 years old and being in a club, but I'm just saying, um, like you could be 50 years old and be in the club and it's like, it's cool. Like it's, there's nothing, you know, like you, I feel like in LA, you don't have to grow up. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, so it's cool. But like, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I just, I'm not, I don't go out anymore. Like I'm a homebody. So it's like, people are always like, how are you not meeting people? I'm like, well, I go to church. I go to the gym, I go to the grocery store. Like, you know, <laughs> I do low key stuff. I don't go out to be like in the club meeting young folks like I did when I was yeah. young. So what's your type? <sighs> athletic. Oh, <yeah. laughs> athletic, God-fearing. Do you believe in God? I do have, I'm spiritual, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said you're spiritual, but are you? Oh, yes, I do believe in God, yes. Okay. And the higher power, yes, yes. 
Um, God fearing, someone who's loyal, someone who has a personality. <laughs> um, yeah, athletic. Oh, this thing is out of control. You hear me, Ken? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. I don't know if it's just her. I don't know. It's frozen again. They're telling me it's frozen. What the hell? I don't know what's going on tonight. That never, <laughs> that never happened. All right. So that means, is that the universe telling we need to logo? Why need to logo? Uh, I don't know. Um... They're, they're talking shit. They're saying I'm doing this because I don't want you to get Connor. I'm like, what are they talking about? Oh, we can see Melly and Ken, but Connor is frozen. So, oh, it's only her that is frozen. She might need to come back. I'm going to kick her out and make her come back. I'm going to text her. Uh, I, I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to text her. Melly, I got a question for you. Yes. For you. So what yes. made you start this platform? What made you do this? Like what inspired uh, you to get to this Which point? one? The, the pineapple show? Pineapple show and just your overall YouTube channel. Wait, she's she's back. I'll answer. Okay? But she's back. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. I think it was only you this time. You're back. Oh, can. can you can you see me? Yes. Okay. Um what where did we leave off? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to figure out this thing. Yeah. Uh, can you remember? Um, no, I think you were, you asked me like what my type was. Yes. Yes. I feel like I answered that. So what's, what's your type, Ken? Um, I gotta say someone who has a passion, someone who's a, a go-getter. Okay. Um, who's financially savvy. That's actually really important. Okay. Um, someone who can just, who's really, I guess, has a, has a spirituality and, Someone who has courage. My God, I don't know what's going on, guys. I know. Is it me? I don't know. I'm sorry. They're saying they see two of you now. I don't know. You can see two of me? Yes. Oh, no. Okay, I can see you guys. Me too. Ken, you're here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> so go ahead. Go ahead. I, you're fine. I'm sorry. It's a difficult uh, conversation. I apologize. I know. Yeah. So long story short, someone with a passion, someone who actually values health and wellness, that's really important to me. Um, yeah. Those are kind of the things. Who's in the art. Art is pretty important to me as well. Okay. I am going to be completely honest. Um, I don't know much about art, but you know, I've gone to museums. I'm just not, I just don't know. I'm not, you know, oh, no, no, no. like I don't need you to be an art historian. It's more just like having appreciation of, of, of just art in general, you know? Okay. Okay. Mm. Cool. Mm. So question. Um, <laughs> What was the last they song you listened to? They want, they want us to take this chat outside. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because like, they're like, okay, you guys eat it up, uh, eat it off. Like, we yeah. got it. We can continue this. Uh, we can continue this conversation after this live is over. All right. Okay. So, do you have Instagram, Ken? I do. So this is Connor's um, IG. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Connor, you're gonna be able to to see him on IG. What's your Instagram? I'll look. <laughs> it's K underscore my last name. Uh, where's the last name? It just says Ken. Yeah, I just followed you. Okay, cool. I will talk to you soon. Very right, nice. Thank you, Ken.